morning everybody. This is Straight Talk. We are your host Vernon Velasco and Chito. And Lozada. Chito Losada. Uh, today we have a very very special guest from from CFI uh, Co-op in Cebu, right? And so, uh, former uh, GSIS uh, president. president. But in the interview of the discussion, uh, we are going to discuss Vince. the headlines for today, the Daily Tribune mm-hmm. uh, road sheet. Uh, That's our headline, uh, Bayanihan, and uh, everybody's waiting for that. A, lo- a lot of people are waiting for that. Yeah, actually, a lot of people are asking, does the government have the budget for the Bayanihan? The answer is mm, yes. Yeah, uh, the economic managers have assured that the uh, mm-hmm. that money is uh, coming. There are loans, there are uh, uh, allocations from uh, the former uh, Bayanihan uh, editions, mm-hmm. Bayanihan 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. As uh, Berlin, the, the two Bayanihan uh, uh, previous uh, law yeah. ne- uh, are about to expire. So uh, there, there's a need for the, yeah. the enactment of uh, Bayanihan 3. Yeah. Anyway, the, the amount that... Uh, the previous Bayanihan uh, laws, uh, as provided, will be uh, extended. Mm-hmm. That that is uh, one one of the provisions of the uh, new law, okay. and uh, the direction that the house is taking. And talk about the loans. Uh, that's just supplementary. The supplementary to the one point seven trillion that we have in the national treasury. Right? Yeah, that's so un- that would be. So, and there are uh, the Bayanian trees more directed towards the uh, mm-hmm. uh, funding of uh, the vaccines, mm-hmm. which you know is uh, very important yeah. <laughs> for us to restart the economy. It is very, very important. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So that's it for, for today's headline. So we're going to proceed and have a short break. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thanks. City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Beanie Beanie pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch, your first home, your first big break, your first date, and even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts.
kid Never thought self-service can be this slick Modify plans in a snap Walang hirap is a wrap Just tap the app Now you can check View, subscribe, renew Help and support for you Out with the ring ring apps Or the in thing You know what to do Globe at home and Globe one All in the Globe app na yan Self-service and easy to use Mas okay tayo dyan Globe at home and Globe one All in the Globe app na yan Instant response, no hold time pa, wala nang hintayan Download Globe at Home and Globe One app, all in the Globe app na yan Download the Globe One and Globe at Home apps from Google Play Store and Apple App Store now Download Globe at Home and Globe One app, all in the Globe app na yan Actually, back to discuss more headlines <laughs> in the Daily Tribune. Yeah, so uh, while uh, we're waiting for our main guest, Mr. Winston Garcia. So, sir, one uh, hunting headline that is actually very related to what we're mm, yeah. going to discuss today. This is uh, yeah. the, Mr. Garcia will be discussing mm -hmm. the uh, uh, importance of uh, Co cooperatives, yeah. primarily among small businesses. Mm -hmm. Small businesses are the ones which are uh, essentially hit by the pandemic. Yeah, and so. they're actually the fuel of the economy too. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. About uh, 60% of the workforce are employed in uh, small businesses. But as far so as your, your concern, sir, customer-owned uh, banks and you know investment mm. banks, what, what's the uh, main difference and what's the, the basic law of call for that matter? Co-ops are basically uh, 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 organizations among the small businesses. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess we have we have our guests now. Yeah, yeah. In that uh, in that regard, we're we're going to take a, uh, a break first. Uh, okay.
CFI Cooperative was originally born out of a goal to save its initial borrowers from abusive lending practices, a multi-billion peso success story that thrived by making its members front and center. With us today is CFI Chairman and former President uh, of GSIS, Winston Garcia, to share the best practices of the customer-owned bank, especially amid the crisis that's leaving more people vulnerable to, to loan sharks and high-risk sources of credit. I am Vernon Velasco, your host, and... Chita Lazada. This is Straight Talk. Good morning, hello, sir. Hello, hello, Chief. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. Yeah. We really want to know how uh, CFI would be helping during this uh, crisis mm -hmm. period, kasi primarily sir, for uh, small businesses. Oh, yeah. Because, sir, generally, financial service providers have, you know, recently been uh, under a great stress. Mm -hmm. uh, we down by hurdles like high arrears, uh, loss of yes, income, yes. and liquidity. Uh, so, sir, in your part in CFI, yeah, yeah. Uh, how is the business going? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, right now, uh, well, it's uh, taking advantage of uh, 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 opportunity in times of mm. crisis. So, uh, the COVID crisis, uh, this pandemic, uh, brought out the worst in uh, our community, but it also brought out the best for uh, mm -hmm. CFI uh, cooperative, uh, in the sense that it hastened the digital transformation of CFI. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now we are completely paperless. Every gamut of our services mm -hmm. is now completely online mm -hmm. from uh, from uh, application of membership up to uh, application of loans, to receipt of proceeds, even withdrawal of their uh, loan proceeds can now be done uh, online. So, uh, uh -huh. uh, and at the same time, we are uh, we're rolling out uh, new loan programs to help uh, small businessmen in this uh, time of uh, uh -huh. crisis. No? So, uh, we are helping also in the modernization of the Jeepney modernization program. Oh. Uh, also, the motorcycle uh, modernization program all over the country. Uh -huh. At the same time, we're also helping out uh, small businessmen uh, uh -huh. make available to them uh, business loans in the form of revolving credit lines uh, uh -huh. that is only uh, available to big businessmen in banks. We're making this available to uh, to uh, our members at very, very reasonable uh, interest rates. Mm -hmm. uh, but sir, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. we, we read that uh, you don't require collaterals for your uh, some of your loans. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of these uh, are, uh, are uh, based on personal our character loans. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. We extend character loans up to 1 million pesos and uh, the interest is only uh, uh, 12 percent no, compared to others that are uh, the, that's going from 12 percent per annum yeah. <laughs> compared to others that are going from 10 to 20 percent per month mm -hmm. so, and, so and uh, we're also extending uh, uh, revolving credit lines to mm -hmm. our uh, members at uh, this is uh, as long as well it, this is a secured line but mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. It can go as high as 50 million and uh, mm -hmm. you uh, or 10 to 20 million, no? but uh, you pay only interest and uh, the principal is uh, re revolving and the interest only 8%. So, uh, very at very, very reasonable rates. But, sir, uh, you, you, have been, you have been very, very productive. But, you know, how is the challenge, uh, how are the challenges unique uh, to Cebu City? Because we all know Cebu City was a hotspot. And, uh, now that the now that the, the lockdown has, has let up, it's a different yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the crisis actually uh, compelled us to uh, mm -hmm. hasten our digital transformation. So, during uh, the early days of the uh, pandemic, where it practically the city was on a lockdown mm -hmm. and our members cannot come, uh, and our even our employees were prohibited from going to the offices. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were able to. Uh, do work at home, no? Because uh, mm -hmm. uh, early on, we were mm -hmm. able to uh, really uh, go on a paperless uh, transaction. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So uh, even our uh, employees can uh, do not have to go to our to the offices in order to work. Yeah. No? So uh, and and right now, uh, members are members from from application of membership, from application of loan, 
to receipt of proceeds, to withdrawal of proceeds, uh, to payment of their loans, do not even have to come to our offices uh, in order to do this. So we were able to cope up with this uh, pandemic. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm uh, happy to announce that uh, despite uh, the pandemic, we were still able to give dividends to our members. No? Mm. Yeah. You know, we were that, able to generate profit and share this with mm. our members in the form of dividends. Mm -hmm. You know, Vernon, uh, yeah. the Mr. Gassi uh, took the same uh, track yeah. in, in GSIS uh, towards uh, digi digitalization, which uh, really raised the income of uh, the state Mm -hmm. state fund and uh, which uh, provided uh, a turnaround for the for the for for GSIS and of course the benefit that uh, it accrues to government employees mm -hmm. you see that's the only way you can actually reach for consumers and make it more accessible to them. Mm -hmm. see everybody has a phone right so uh, phone it's ba basically accounts. coupled to ano, to uh, inclusivity efforts. So, mm. Sir? Yes. Yeah. Sir, uh, we've heard that you've actually been very, very productive. Now. Pero di ba, in terms of other banks, they didn't have enough customers because, you know, the people were very likely to be afraid to, to, to invest and to buy new products because they wanted to consume less. They might not, they might not need, need, need loans. Po, so, yeah. Mm. How uh, right now, we are part? very uh, aggressive uh, uh, with our members, no? So, uh, in helping them out uh, survive this crisis, mm. and uh, we are we are into a lot of projects. As a matter of fact, uh, second half of this year, we will be putting up a 32-story uh, mm. condominium in mm. uh, the heart of Cebu City for our members, exclusively for our members, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, even we have. We have not yet launched it. 250. We have already received 250 reservations. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, it's mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have faith uh, in our members, and uh, they're very loyal to us, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they have also faith in our uh, institution. So uh, and uh, I, I believe that now is the best time for us to really be very aggressive mm -hmm. in helping them out. Mr. Garcia, in terms of new accounts, many employees had you know experience. Uh, employment changes such as having uh, hours reduced, pay cut, being stood down or being made redundant. Uh, and it creates a new class of economically vulnerable people. So how yeah. have you seen a surge from this market segment as a recent addition to your growing member member space? Well, there are. and uh, uh, But but still, uh, uh, the alternative Right now, uh, we're providing an, a better alternative to employees who were saddled with uh, uh, usurious loans, no? Mm. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we are to our we, we are the first cooperative in the entire world right now that has the CFI wallet, it's an electronic wallet, mm. and in that wallet, uh, you have uh, we are affording our members. Uh, a credit cash line is from 10 to 30,000 pesos. It works like a credit card, but they withdraw that in cash. So, mm -hmm. And that is also where they withdraw their loan process. That's also where they can cash in and make a deposit. No? Would, that be, uh, mm, pardon? would that be an automatic uh, part of the wallet? Mm -hmm. or yes, it's an automatic part, the credit cash line. Oh. Uh, if, you, if you are qualified, <laughs> oh, but, uh, if one. you have an existing loans, mm. yeah, you, you, you can it's go to our website and you yeah. can learn about the uh, credit cash line no? okay yeah. uh, sir yeah. most uh, no, most 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 financial uh, institutions have faced a drop because uh, uh, for one your non-performing loans have most likely increased during these times yeah. so in CFI po, have you opted to sell your non performing loans to clear your balance sheets of risk no assets? no no never yeah we we, uh, we, we did not uh, we just fully uh, make provisions for that no Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, as a matter of fact, right now we are, we, our, our members are still, uh, mm -hmm. our, our, our default rate is still very, still manageable. Yes. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, right now, uh, in the in the coming months, uh, in, in the coming weeks, uh, 
we'll be launching a, a microfinance revolving credit line to all market vendors. Uh, you see, uh, vendors. Okay. Part of uh, uh, yeah, yeah, vendors, no market vendors. Mm. You see, uh, the market vendors are the most abused uh, sector of our uh, uh, of our society. They've been uh, abused by uh, the so-called foreign uh, lenders. Okay. Uh, and uh, paying 10 to 20 percent a month on long their shark. loan sharks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on, on, the, on the loan sharks, no. Now, the reason why the reason why they, they prefer that because it's the availability of cash. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime they can do it, and uh, it's easier to pay because uh, there's practically that the, the the collector every day that will collect to them. Mm -hmm. uh, to our wallet, we will beat this. Uh, this uh this uh loan sharks uh, because mm -hmm. uh, uh credit line will be providing them a revolving credit line which is uh readily yeah. available to their smartphone mm -hmm. uh, anytime they can avail it uh, uh and uh easier the interest instead of five percent or ten percent per month mm -hmm. is only one practically around uh, practically around one percent per month no and uh, number three it's easier to their wallet also they can make online payment uh, either to mm. Lulier, to Padala, mm. through, uh, through uh, or any of the payment centers uh, that is easily available in uh, in the in the community they can make payment no they can just just get the reference number mm. to their online uh, payment facility in their wallet and uh, immediately have their payment posted and once they pay uh, their the credit line is immediately restored so th that's something that uh, we are excited to launch and uh, Hopefully, uh, uh, in in the coming weeks. No? So, uh, our co-op is aggressively uh, uh, providing financing to small businessmen. So, who, who in order for them to cope up with this pandemic crisis? Uh -huh. Yeah, we have more questions. But uh -huh. I guess <laughs> we're going to take a short break first. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Bakit kailangan ko pang pumunta sa bangko? Kung nga naman, sir, ba't kailangan pang pumunta sa bangko? Why not get a UBI app? So you can do all these without going to the bank. Bank the way you live. Union Bank. This is a very important story. The important story. Pictures and stories. Today, we feel the weight of history on our shoulders. The way we have been moving, leads nowhere. We need to change course. Since the United Nations was founded, the human race has never had to face a set of challenges like we do right now. But together, we can overcome them. And we're back, back with CFI Chairman Winston Garcia. Uh, sir, we've talked about the, the loan sharks and the users we're trying to squash. So what is your advice to people about dealing with loan sharks? And, you know, these unlicensed abusive money lenders are charging very high interest rates and even use threat to make people pay. So what's what's your advice, sir? Well, well my advice to them is try to look at our website at cfi.com. <laughs> Uh, you can apply practically online without having to go to our offices. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh -huh. and uh, we have uh, branches nationwide that you can go to. Uh, uh, we have one in Quezon City. We have one in Makati. We have mm. one in uh, yeah, and we're opening up uh, uh, other branches uh, in Luzon. So, how many uh, members? Other branches in Visayas and Mindanao, of course, also. At the moment, how many members uh, does CFI has? Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, right now one hundred forty-five thousand members. Wow. It has increased uh, over the yeah over the past uh, one and a half year. We've been we've increased by fifteen thousand. It used to be one hundred thirty thousand, mm. and over the past uh, two uh, one and a half year, we were able to increase our membership by to one hundred forty five thousand. This is nationwide, job. Mm -hmm. 
nationwide, nationwide. Mm. And uh, we had our 50th anniversary last year. This mm. is an old uh, mm. established uh, cooperative uh, in the country today. When you started, how many? Years. When you started, how many members did did you have? It started. Uh, it was started by my mother with 29 members and 29. a capitalization of yeah, 29 oh. members. Mm -hmm. So uh, and with a capitalization of 200, mm -hmm. and uh, it has grown over the years. 200,000. 200,000. Uh, 200 pesos. 200 pesos. 200 pesos. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, because. Uh, uh, it was it is very popular in Cebu and in the mm. Visayas uh, mm. because uh, it has uh, really helped a lot uh, mm. uh, the employees, no? Free them from uh, the loan sharks. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of uh, my mission right now is to continue the mission of my mother, and hopefully we can uh, finally uh, break the bond of this. Uh, oh, the, 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 the the last frontier I, I think are the market vendors and this is one thing that uh, uh, most cooperatives were trying to crack but we're not able to crack and mm. uh, hopefully with our CFIE electronic wallet and mm. our revolving credit line for microfinance uh, to, uh, uh, this will we will be able to break this uh, hold of uh, the users in the market vendors. Mm -hmm. So are you ano niyo, yung brick and mortar niyo? I mean, concentrated ba sa Cebu lang? Or are you trying to penetrate other markets? Other regions. Now we are, we are right now, we are right now in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Mm. Uh, in, mm. uh, we have uh, an office also in, uh, in Makati. We just opened an office in Makati, mm. uh, in mm. the Ayala Tower 1. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have, we have uh, the 8th floor. So you, you, uh, anybody can go there and uh, visit our office and make some inquiries. Okay. Sir, balik tayo sa ano, no, sa mga... Uh, sa mga 5, 6, at yung mga usurero, no? Uh, digital na po yung mga yan in this digital world. So, yeah. uh, kasi di ba po yung mga 5, 6, yung mga usurero na yan, unlicensed sila, di ba? So, mm. yes. these uh, usurers are taking a new guys in the in the I name of fintech sure. companies. Diba? Fintech. <laughs> They're actually yeah, charging, yeah. Yeah, charging obscene uh, interest, interest yeah. rates more than 10%. So, uh, yes. what can you say on this? How, how can you uh, counter uh, this? We were fighting it up digitally also. And yes. I think uh, we are the only cooperative right now, again, how to say, that uh, we are the only cooperative in the country right now that can say they're fully digitized. Mm -hmm. no, so uh, all all our, our services can be done online. Mm -hmm. So uh, something that uh, uh, no cooperative has done ever before. Even, in the, well, we are the first cooperative in the whole world to have an e-wallet for the, uh, all its members. No? Sir, I, I just want to touch on the one of your major project, the carbon mm -hmm. market in Cebu. Yes. Uh, can you can you uh, brief us or uh, put up put us uh, up to speed on the developments of that project? Mm -hmm. Well, that has that has been very controversial. Uh, there was uh, uh, according to them a regional proponent, Mega White. Mm. We tried to, uh, and they, 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 they published a Swiss challenge, uh, but the Swiss challenge gave us only 10 days to challenge the, uh, the, the okay. proposal of the original the proposal. proponent. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, they will, uh, before we could even participate, we have to sign under oath that we will not file any cases against them. Whatever may be the result. <laughs> and number three, uh, uh, we have to pay, uh, let's say, a certain sum to get the terms of reference. Mm -hmm. But we were not able, given the terms of reference of, or, or even the, the detailed proposal of the original proponent, because we were not willing to sign a commitment that we will not file a case against them mm -hmm. uh, uh, in case, uh, for, 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 for any reason. Mm -hmm. as a result of our participation in the uh, bid. So we are questioning this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, we're really questioning this in court. And uh, we believe that uh, we have a strong case uh, mm -hmm. to challenge, uh, the this challenge. Mm -hmm. We cannot just allow uh, this to happen because it will also involve the desecration of Freedom Park, uh, a very part of the heritage of Cebu City is uh, ah, okay. the heritage. 
uh, the Freedom Park. And I don't know, I don't know if you're familiar with Freedom Park. It has so yeah, much a, history mm, there. Mm, no? And uh, uh, they will mm. uh, part of the concession that the city gave them was to develop to give to them lock stock and barrel freedom park and to develop into residential condominiums. Uh -huh. And in, in terms Can you of imagine it's just like Luneta allowing a private developer to, to develop Luneta. Yeah. That's that's a big scandal in the offing. <laughs> How about your offer? Uh, Our offer was to modernize the uh, carbon, carbon market. market. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, spending we had already a uh, Firm commitment from Land Bank that they will be funding it for 3.5 billion pesos. 3.5. Uh, but this this mega white do not have even a firm commitment from any bank yet. Mm -hmm. In other words, we had a firm commitment uh, mm -hmm. to to modernize it, uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, part of our plan was to really also provide uh, funding to the market cooperative so that uh, they can buy direct from farmer co farmers cooperative, no. The goods undercutting the traders mm -hmm. and uh, also putting up uh, we would have been the first public market or, or one of the very few public markets wherein there will be cold storage facilities and uh, dry storage facilities so mm -hmm. well, well, uh, we, we are still fighting for that how, uh, how do you see this uh, being settled within and when <laughs> I, I, I do not know i do not know but uh, I, I i i think you know elections are fast approaching yeah you know? And uh, that must be the reason why uh, the city officials were also very fast mm -hmm. in uh, approving the uh, in uh, in approving the project of Mega White, mm -hmm. in spite uh, mm -hmm. uh, our challenge to it, no, without even uh, giving us uh, a reasonable opportunity to challenge it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> Sir, penultimate question. Um... We all know the, uh, no, the the economic stimulus the private sector is uh, actually providing the the country. So, but but you are actually hurdled by 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 a lot of policy. So, what are your recommendation for policymakers, um, the regulators, <coughs> and the financial service providers on how to keep borrower financial needs? Uh, well, like, well, uh, number one, uh, mm -hmm. let's not kill the goose that uh, lays the golden eggs. All yeah. this. Uh, mm -hmm. All this call for moratorium is really hurting the financial community, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. the banks. No? Yes. Uh, uh, we, we were also hurt by uh, 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 by, uh, by 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 this moratorium. At least, I, I think there were four months of moratorium. Mm -hmm. That's four months of uh, uh, deferred income huh, for, mm -hmm. for for that year uh, of of all banks, and that's a lot. And that's why most banks are. And when we kill the goose that uh, lays the golden egg, then there's no more engine for financial for, for, for growth in this country. You know, practically, mm -hmm. it will collapse. So, and uh, number two, uh, let, let I hope let let's get over okay mm. this crisis and consider COVID as the most dreaded disease mm -hmm. there is. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, it's not that, that we don't take any necessary precaution. Mm -hmm. But to, to put it in the highest totem pole, higher than, <laughs> than, than the other dreaded diseases like TB, and, like uh, uh, HIV, and uh, sacrificing millions just to prevent thousands from dying. Exactly. I don't think uh, that is... Uh, uh, that, uh, I, don't, I, I think we're taking it uh, already way, 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 way beyond logic and yeah. reason. Sir, last question if we're going to humor me with... My indulgence, unless you have a question, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, I'll have to leave it to you. Okay. <laughs> the so last sir, question. Last question. So the success of financial cooperatives during this global financial crisis shows there is a credible um, alternative to the investment-owned banking system. So, you know, because the stability and aversion to risk are built mm. into your, into your, uh, no, into your yes. DNA. So now, sir, what uh, financial cooperatives like CFI can can teach the big banks in this market situation? Mm. Well, uh, I, 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 for these big banks, the problem with big banks is uh, they lend you money if, uh, the, the concept right now is you lend you money if uh, they know that you don't need the money, okay? But uh, uh, I, my advice to them, have trust, especially in the poor people. Okay. In this Poor market vendors, poor people are paying 10 to 20% a month for interest rates. 
and our interest rates are only practically way, way, way below that, no? Mm-hmm. So in other words, yeah, uh, have trust in the people, uh, especially in the poor, because they are good risk, mm-hmm. no, financially, mm-hmm. and you will be rewarded. Mm-hmm. And I hope banks will realize that. Mm-hmm. In your in your experience, are the poor really a good risk <laughs> yes, in terms yes. of your members? And, uh, and 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 you ask the Indians, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The they, they, they're making a lot of money from the poor. <laughs> you ask all these users, uh, they're paying 10 to 20 percent a month in terms of much. interest. That's 200 to uh, that's right. 120 to 240 percent mm. interest. Mm, uh, and, they, and, and, and they they still can be they, they still sad, saddled with it, but we was able to pay with uh, we uh, was able to pay it. No? Mm. The, the experience of CFI is the same, okay? Mm. Have have trust on our employees, on our mm-hmm. ordinary folks, on our ordinary Filipinos, and it will be repaid. They are good risk materials. Okay? It has been uh, a pleasure, Mr. Garcia. <laughs> yes. Very yeah. interesting uh, uh, interview with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. No. <laughs> yeah. Winston Garcia, Chairman of CFI and former GSIS President. And that's it for Thank you. yeah. And that's it for today's Straight Talk. My name is Vernon Velasco and Chita Lasada. See you again. Okay, Chit. Thank you, Panero. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>